Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here. This is Cobra Triangle for the NES. Another 8-bit summer title, as it were. This should only take me one part to complete, because this game only takes about 15 minutes to complete, if you know what you're doing. But I will also tell you right now that, um, wait a second. Headphones are plugged in, I was wondering why no sound was coming out. Alright. Now, people say that Contra is one of the hardest games on the NES. No, see, if you ask me, this is one of the hardest games on the NES. This game belongs on every top ten list oops, that, like, ever existed. Because if, if, if this game is not on your top ten list of hardest games, then I have to assume you've just never played it. This game is balls hard. And, well, there's two words you don't want to put together in a sentence by accident, but... Anyway... <laughs> I just got back from E3, and I'm really happy, and, um, and we just finished level 1. That's level 1 out of 25, so as you can see, this is not going to take very long at all. Depends on whether or not I can get my power-ups alright. So I may need to be a little quiet for this episode, or this particular level, so I can concentrate on what I'm doing here. Alright, it's really hard to get these upgrades. See, this is another one of those games where, um, there's like an upgrade system. And you pick up, you pick up pods, and then once you get to what you want, you spend them. Wait, what are we? Okay, we can do it again. I need one more fire upgrade. So you only got so much time here to do this, so... But then you catch up to the force field, and it's like, oh, then you can't go on any further. So you can't, I mean, like, literally, you can't go through it, so... Oh, and that sound is so annoying. The sound of time running out on a level. And you know, it's you're pretty much you're gonna have to hear it a lot as you play the game, because it's just how it works, but... As you can see, I mean, the levels go by very fast. There's a lot of different types of levels. As you see this one, I'm gonna have to dispose of mines, which means I have to grab them, carry them to the other side, and bam, just like that. Now, it helps if you actually get back here and get rid of these turrets, so they're not shooting you while you're trying to carry the mines out. And you also have this boat chasing you, and if he manages to catch up to you, he'll grab the mine from you and carry it back to the other side. So you really have to be pretty quick on your toes here. Ooh, 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 there we go. Yeah, nice. One more time. Yeah, the diagonal uh, point of view on this game can be a little disorienting, but really, you only have to press left and right on the controller to turn, so... Once you get used to it, right is clockwise, left is counterclockwise, and you're good. And just starting out, the game is not really that hard. I mean, you know, I mean, just the first six or seven levels probably won't give you much trouble, but I'm telling you, when you get to that waterfall level, oh boy, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. Also, okay, these whirlpools are extremely maddening. See, the other thing is, you're constantly... Crap. See, those things do so much damage, too. I can't believe I died there. Shouldn't die this early in the game. So you're also, like, constantly trying to figure out whether how much you want to press the gas. And, like, let go of it and press it again to try to you know, keep your distance right, you know, so that you're not running into something that's coming after you or whatever. Also, you might have noticed in the first level there was a branching path. Well, depending on whether you go left or right at that branching path, you'll play the levels in a different order, and sometimes there are certain types of levels you won't see at all. And, uh, we'll get more into that in a second, but for the time being, there was your first boss. I think the boss game, or the, the, the boss game, the boss music in this game is extremely hilarious. I don't know why, it's just always been hilarious to me. This is one of those games I played, like, when I was really, really young, and then went for, like, several long years without playing it because I could never find it anywhere, and then one day I saw it, like, in a store. They had a bunch of, like, leftover NES games and cellophane. Come on, thank you. <sighs> okay, that's good. Yeah, and this was one of the games, so I picked it up then, and I've pretty much had it since then, so... Okay, th these levels are annoying right here, this guard the people. Like, normally you would play this as the fourth level. He took the uh, right path at the first beginning level, you would play this as stage four. 
but because of the path I took, this is take 7 instead. So it's a little weird, like, most- nothing really changes. There's just certain variations of levels that you may or may not see, depending on which way you go. That's all there really is to it. And this is what I like to do on this level, I just go in circles, shooting like crazy, and don't even think about what I'm doing, and I think that's why I find these levels so annoying. Because there's really not much of a strategy to it, everything happens so fast that you just can't really... Uh, it's, all, you know, it's almost impossible to follow, you got boats coming from three different directions. And even in the best case scenario, which would probably be you having the firepower up that fires out four directions, even then, still... Well, like, I'm about to lose this, I don't believe this. I gotta make sure they don't get that last one. See, that UFO comes out, and he'll stun you with his missiles, so then you can't move or shoot for like a couple of seconds. So that can really be... okay, this is the level. Oh boy. Alright, if you wait a second before you start accelerating, you can just actually... You can just actually fly right through this level without any problem at all. But let me tell you something, that level is not as easy as I made that look. We'll see another level just like that. Oh, I think it's level 23. And it is freaking ridiculous. I guarantee you I will die at least three or four times on that level. Unless somehow I pull a miracle out of my ass, but then... Um, if there was a miracle up my ass, it would probably be ruined by now anyway, so just never mind. Whoa, whoa, don't hit that. We don't have our speed upgraded enough yet to make use of that. They'll start throwing these ramps out in these le racing levels here. And, like, you can take the ramps and actually skip some of the level by jumping the ramp. But, if your speed is not upgraded enough, you won't actually get enough distance and you'll just crash. So you don't want that to happen. Ooh, missiles. Good, good, good. Missiles upgrade is good. It's, um... Basically fires out two missiles off to the side, and if you upgrade it again, I think two more times, then they, they turn into homing missiles, which can help a lot. So, we'll see about that when we get there. Um... Also, you will have to upgrade your speed eventually. Well, we want to go right here. Didn't I go left the first time? The thing is, if you go left on the first one, then you want to go right on the second one. And vice versa so that you don't run into a certain level later on, which I'll get into. And if you played this game, you probably know what level I'm talking about. Let me tell you something, boy. I'm surprised I even still have four lives at this point. Okay. Fry the monster. So I don't know what it is about this boss lately. This boss is really actually one of the easiest bosses in the game. But, like, for some reason lately, I don't know what happened, but, like, all of a sudden I'm just so bad at it. Something about this boss always reminds me of Mom, too. I don't know if it's the Cancer thing. Because she's a Cancer, like a, the Zodiac sign, you know? And cancer is denoted by the crab. So I guess that's what it is. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Huh. Anyway. Ooh, I hope that ceiling fan isn't too loud. I should have turned that off before I started this video. It should be like this loud buzzing sound in the background. I always like the music on these levels. Crap, I don't think I'm, I think I missed one. Shit. Well, never mind. If you get all the targets, you get the one up, but sometimes they just get away from you and it starts going so fast and you Okay, this level here. This is one of my least favorite levels in the game. And the other version of this level that comes up later is the one that I'm trying to avoid. Which is why I said to go left and then right, or right and then left. Because these levels are absolutely... just absolutely ridiculous. This one is bearable, but even this one, once you get to the second half of it, it just gets to the point where, like, it's like, how the hell does anybody do this? Here it comes, here we go. <laughs> Like, seriously, this, no. Oh. I'm trying to figure out whether to, like, go with gas or go, and then I don't know, and it's like... I mean, this part isn't too bad if you stay in the middle. You can just kind of trick them out, and... Ugh, boy. Ugh. I can't stand the music on these levels either, it's so annoying. Ugh. It's, it's cool, but it's like, it's, it's like, it's one of those, it's like, oh... 
It's that whole good versus cool debate, I guess. Come on, get through the thing before you die! Thank you! Jeez, I almost died two times on that level. That would have been terrible. I hate that level, let me tell you. Oh, oh, back to dispose of the mines again. Here we go. These levels are no picnic either. When you get later in the game and there's two of these boats that are coming after you, we'll take care of those right there. So there, we just gotta... Really, the best way to get them off your hat... Uh, 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 the best way to get them off your ass is just to keep going back and forth, left and right and left. The problem is sometimes the boats get hung up on that little island in the middle, and then when, you, when you're bringing the, the next mine in, they'll come straight at you from the other side, and you almost can't avoid it. So, you know, we just have to... Ugh, boy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. See, now they're both hung up over there, so they're gonna come after me. They won't do anything until you actually grab a mine, but I'll tell you, man. Okay, that's four. One more, one more, come on. In 40 seconds, we should do this. We should do this. Like, no problem, man. Come on, come on, come on, yeah! Thank you. For some reason, lately, those levels have been giving me a little bit of pain, too, but... Ah, up to 11 minutes already. I'm a little surprised. Okay, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, shoot. Is it shit? Oh! Yeah, see, now that's, uh... Yeah, that's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I might have had the speed that I needed to make that jump, I'm not sure. Oh, I do, I do have the speed. Oh, I should have just gone for it, then. I wish I'd noticed. My speed upgrade is all the way up. As you can see by the third bar down there. It, you know, it, I reach the max, and it just turns into dashes at that point. So, these levels... These levels can be a little irritating, too, just because, you know, it, it wears you down. Like, you crash against the walls and it does damage to you. And then you have to sit there and compensate for that. Well, you compensate for it, you just take the damage. So there you go, there's a massive jump there. As you can see here now, you have to have enough speed to make the jump by this point in the game. So the speed upgrade is basically required to beat the game, and I think it's the only one that actually is, but man... Well, the turbo, too. Which is the first upgrade I picked up, the very first one. That's X'd out as well. Fire, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You don't need the missiles either. And Force is basically temporary invincibility, which... It's a good idea sometimes to actually build up so that you can use that. Or build up enough pods so that you can use that if you need it. And sometimes that's like... You know, if you hit that one level that I was talking about that I'm trying to avoid... You almost have to use force just to get through to the end of it, but I want to try to get the rest of my missile upgrades in the collected pods level, which I believe is coming up next. And if I can get that, maybe we can survive the yeah the level. Now this one you actually have to move a little faster because the little force field behind you that's chasing you um it goes a little faster on this one. So okay, I can never see like oh boy yeah. Oh, I got, I got missiles. Okay, there we go. There's one. Okay, one more, one more. One more pod, please. One more, just one. Not two. Crap. Should I just leave it at that? Maybe I should. Because if you collect more pods after you've gotten up to force, it just goes back to one again, so... I really wanted those homing missiles, though. Ugh. Well, at this point, it's too late, it's like, you might as well not worry about it. Oof. Yeah, there's no way to collect pods for the rest of the game. I think there's one more racing level maybe you can. But if I wanted the homing missiles, I really would have liked to have them on this level. Just because of that freaking UFO. But, uh, let the button mashing begin as we proceed to play this ridiculously stupid-ass level. Ugh. This is so dumb. Well, it's not dumb, it's just... It is what it is. Shots. It, it, it is not. It is not what it is either. It's not even that. We're actually doing. Oh, we well, were doing Barry. So I got frozen by the UFO there. If somehow you manage to beat this level without losing any of the guys, you get a free life for it. But man, I've only done that like maybe once or twice in my life. It's a hell of a feat if you can do it. See, they're just catching up to me now. You can't hold still, because those missiles home in on you. Oh, look at this, I'm with one guy. Shit, that's it. Oh, man. 
Nope. We gotta do that one over, man. That's a do-over. That's a mulligan. <laughs> God, I hate these levels. So sometimes what I've seen people do is, like, they'll grab one of the guys and just go hang out by one of the, like, entrances where the boats come out. And just sit there and shoot the boats as they come out. And I guess I've never really tried that strategy before. I suppose it would be somewhat useful. In fact, let me... I'll try it right now. Wait, no. Get over here. Shit, now they're getting away with... See, that's the problem with that strategy. Is that if you ignore all the other guys, they're all gonna disappear and you're just gonna have the one with you. Shit, what am I doing? Yeah, here, let's just... Let's just hang out over here and see. Okay, maybe this isn't... Maybe this is a good way to do it. See, then that missile hits you. It's just, ugh. You know, I actually kind of like this. Oh, where did that boat... Did you see that boat? Oh my god! What are these boats doing, man? See, that UFO comes in there with those missiles stacked on top of it, ready to fire. Ready to fire. Oh, he killed me. Oh, I still have the guy. Okay, good. Just as long as I pass the level, that's all I care about. Jeez, man. Okay, this boss is pretty easy here. I just, uh... Just button mash like crazy. Get the ball and shoot like crazy! Yeah, see, his black mirror's all the way down to nothing already. You don't want to get caught in those tentacles, though. So that's pretty much an insta-kill if you do. It looks like we're gonna get a game over here, but... Mm -hmm. Tell you what, man. Ooh. If I can get this one up, that would be great, man. I couldn't get the last one, and that one's easier than this one is. Did I get that one back there? I don't think I... No, I didn't. Crap. Well, it was worth a shot. It's probably also worth noting that David Wise wrote the music for this game, which, if I'm not mistaken, he wrote the music for Mega Man as well. So that's kind of an interesting little bit of trivia that, you know, to think that there's, you know, games that he, maybe lesser known games that he worked on for which, you know, people would be fans of the music because of it being the same composer and all. I'm going to try and get that missile upgrade here. Here we go. I think normally I would suggest maybe just like sitting in one spot. And just riding it and letting let the boats come by with pods. And, um... Just grinding pods in one spot. But the problem is you're on a time limit, so... You know, if you don't get to the end by the time the time runs out, then you just die, so... And it's not worth it. Well, I died anyway. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. <laughs> anyway, that reminds me of, like, when I was a kid. I cannot believe I'm telling this story. This is so dumb. I had this, like, pad of paper at the end of my notebook, and I never used it for anything. So what I did was, like, I used the top two sheets to make this thing where I would draw, like, doors on the first page, but I would, and they would be, like, three lines. Uh, it's, like, it's like drawing three sides of a square, but I drew them so heavily on the paper, like, I pressed the pen down over and over again so that, you, so that the paper tore, and you could, like, lift the square and look at what was inside, and on each door I had like a star saying who was inside. So one of them was like Michael Jordan, and you open up the flap, and there's a drawing of Michael Jordan in there. But I didn't actually put the person's name because the doors were so small, so I had to put their initials on it. And then over time I started to forget who I had on that sheet, so there was like, just like one of them said MJ, and you open it up and it's Michael Jordan, and then and then there was like a second Michael Jordan that was called a Michael Jordan Twin Bro. So it said A-M-J-T-B on the door. <laughs> and it's like, I, I don't know why I did that. I did the weirdest things when I was little, I tell you. But, um, let me get that. Can I get one more pod, please? Okay, 39 seconds here. Yes, 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 grab it, grab it. No, that's not a pod. I got two life bars left. Shit, now I got one. Ha! Got it, got it, got it. I got the force. The force of the poop, baby! 
Yes! Okay, our odds of winning this game just went up by quite a bit there. Because number one, I got forced, and number two, I didn't die there, so... Huh, now, this is the level. Now this level... Okay, remember how earlier uh, that other level happened? Well, <laughs> if you um, took the wrong path, you would be dealing with the icebergs instead of this. And I think this is a lot easier to deal with. Shoot. Alright. Oh man, just gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. Shoot, oh, logs. You're so... Ooh, wait, 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 we can... Oh man. I kind of just passed through and saw an opportunity there and then I died. Whoa. Running out of time, I may have to use the force here. Nope, 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 I don't have to. Good. The, the nice thing is, even if you get a game over, you still carry over the pods and stuff that you had. Oh no, I forgot I had to do this too. Alright, let's. First things first, let's go take out the turrets. So that we're not dealing with those later. Now, as you can see, this one has a whirlpool going around the thing, so yeah, it's gonna be real fun. But we gotta do it, man. We gotta do it. Ooh, boy. Just barely. Shoot. Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Thank you. Oh, my God. That's, that was bad. That took way too long to do. Now that guy's hung up on the other side of the thing. Okay. We're all right. You also gotta be careful when you drop off the mine. You don't go straight over the hole. Because if you do, the mine will blow up and kill you, too. So it's a really extremely discreet process, getting it in there and getting away without actually letting it hit you, or just without running directly over the hole, like I said. Shoot, I hit the wall there. If you hit the wall, it slows you down just enough that maybe they can get to you. We have 17 seconds, we gotta do this now. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Come on, get it! Four, three, I'm dead. I don't believe this, man. Why am I sucking so much? I need these lives for the waterfall level. You know, I'm sitting here dying, man. Oh, shoot, I never took out the turrets. We'll do that now. We'll try to kill two birds. Get out of the way, you frick frack whirlpool. God. This is why I say this is the hardest game like, like that I know. It's not the hardest game I know, but man, it's probably top three for me. And then people say the Contra is hard. The bullets in Contra move so slow, it's a wonder. Like, how in the world? If you play these games nowadays, when people shoot you, it's like instantaneous. You don't even see where it came from. Well, you can see where it came from, but there's no way you could possibly avoid it. Unless you already know where the guy is, you know, and it's like... But once they shoot you, that's it. You don't get a chance to react and maybe avoid the bullet. In the contrary, you totally do. It's just beyond my wildest imagination how anybody could possibly think that game is hard. But, okay, whatever. See, he got hung up on the... I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna die again? Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Wait, is that it? I think I... Oh, no, I think one more continue. Jeez Louise, we gotta do this now, man. Oh, it's like I said, though, I was saying before... That for some reason lately this these levels have been giving me hell. Shit. What is going on here, man? That's such good commentary on this. So I mean, I don't know. It's, who am I to say whether my commentary is good or not, but But man, oh man. Okay, there's one. Alright, just take it easy. We can do this. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as you think. There we go. Three more, 45 seconds. Let's do it. 15 seconds for mine. We should be able to do this. As long as that whirlpool is not effing around. Oh, stop getting... Thank you for not getting hung up on the other side of the island. And would you pick up a mine? Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice try there, whirlpool. That still does damage to you, though, so you gotta really be watching pretty closely. Ooh, they almost had me there. Got it! Thank goodness. Oh, there is no way, man. I don't know. With two lives, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. 
So the first one is pretty much self-explanatory, but here's where it gets... This is what you have to do here, basically. Get up here like this, and then... Boom, like that. Also, I love the music in these levels, by the way. Okay, that's too... Now, if you die, sometimes that's the... You can take advantage of it by, like, knowing where the ramp, or where the ramp is gonna be before you come at it for the second time. Oh my god! Oh. Okay, watch the ramp, watch the ramp. Where is it, where is it? Oh, I made it, I made it, I made it! Oh my god, I made it. And I still have my force. Okay, you're gonna need the force for this boss, because he will one-shot you. So, first thing when the level starts, use it. Otherwise, you know, yeah, like I said, you'll die if you don't. Okay, and then level 24, the final boss, which is actually, thankfully, the final boss is not that bad. It's just Jaws, basically. I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. So if you get, like, right here in the sweet spot, you can kinda... Yeah. Um, the biggest problem with fighting this guy is the time limit. Because he spends so much time underwater and invulnerable. Shit, oh, oh, he got me there, man, I tell you. The other thing that sucks about it is if he kills you, and you have like two or three seconds left, he'll take one life away from him killing you, and then another life will take it away for running out of time. So this is it, I'm down to zero lives, and we're at the final boss, and we got like, oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. This is it, this is like the home stretch, and now he's going faster. Shit, it's so hard to anticipate where he's going to come up. Sometimes it's best to stay on the opposite side as he is, so you can be there right when he comes up. We need a big hit here. Oh, that's good, that's good, come on. Keep doing that. Oh, those missiles. I could use those homing missiles. I never did get the homing missiles. Got him! I got him! I did it! Oh, praise, praise God, I did it. I don't believe it. I don't believe I just did that. And then this is hilarious. Look at this. Why are they playing the boss music here? That boss music is ridiculous enough to begin with, and now they're playing it as you rescue the guy. Like, what? What the hell, man? Yeah, that's pretty much... That, that level plays itself. You don't have to do anything. It's just kind of a... <laughs> it's just a huge relief to get to that level and say, Oh, thank God, I don't have to do anything. I can't believe I just barely got by that skin of my teeth there. I didn't think I was gonna do that. Like, after... I don't know, man. If it weren't for that force, I wouldn't have had it. Because that one boss would have killed me, and then the shark would have had me. Boy, they had a lot of dogs working on this game, didn't they? Jeez. These are the good old days when it took, like, 12 people to make a Nintendo game. Nowadays, they got computers and chips and... Tch. <laughs> no. Well, there you go. That's the end. It's not exactly the best score in the world. And, uh, I've had better than that. I've done, like, way over 900,000 before. The thing is, if you get over a million, it actually resets back to zero. And so you'll finish the game with, like, 100,000 points. And then it'll put you down on the bottom of this chart. Like, you'll have, like, if you got 1,130,000, you'd be seventh place there. But there it is, guys. Cobra Triangle. I had a good time playing this, so I hope you had a good time listening to me and... Oh, all hope was almost lost, but not, not for naught. So, thanks everybody for watching, and tomorrow, I guess we'll get back to Pokemon. I don't know what's going on with, um, Aria of Sorrow. I still can't, uh, well, I haven't tried it yet since I got back from E3, but last time I tried, my fraps wouldn't work with my Visual Boy Advance, so I'm not able to record that for the time being. Hopefully that changes in the near future, but if it doesn't, oh well, you know, it's... It doesn't seem like people were too terribly interested in that anyway. Even though it was a really cool game. But I may get back to that, I may not, we'll see. So, on behalf of 8-Bit Summer, this has been Cobra Triangle. I am Nintendo Capri Sun, and I will see you next time. Take care, y'all.